Hello, let's get started with the top 10 China news for today. And the number one news is Alibaba's new AI model. Alibaba has revealed its new AI reasoning model. It's called QWQ Max, which is positioned to compete with leading models like OpenAI's Zero One and DeepSeek's R1. And this comes as part of Alibaba's 53 billion investment plan in cloud and AI infrastructure over the next three years. The company is looking to make significant strides in artificial intelligence, and QWQ Max is aimed at bringing advanced reasoning capabilities to industries, including healthcare and finance. And with this kind of investment, Alibaba is hoping to elevate its AI game and challenge the current dominance of companies like OpenAI. And number two news is China breaks a quantum transmission record. Chinese scientists have achieved a quantum secure direct communication breakthrough, setting a new transmission record. The significance of this investment is its potential to enable a quantum internet, a network that could drastically enhance online security by preventing eavesdropping. The technology could bring dial-up speed of the 90s to today's standards while providing a level of security impossible with current methods. And this development is part of China's broader push to lead in quantum computing and communication, which many believe will be the key to the future of the internet security. And number three is U.S. sanctions Chinese and Indian firms. In a significant move, the U.S. has imposed sanctions on over 30 companies and individuals from China and India, accusing them of aiding Iran's oil sales. The U.S. government claims that these actions support Iran's ability to fund terrorism. Among those targeted areas are companies involved in the transport and trade of Iranian oil. And these sanctions are part of a larger effort by the Trump administration to apply maximum pressure on Iran's economy. For China and India, the sanction could strain their economic and diplomatic relationship with the U.S., especially in the energy and the trade sectors. And number four news is Trump's U.S. government shakeup. In another reshuffling of his administration, Donald Trump has made changes to the Bureau of Industry and Security, also known as BIS, a key agency that enforces export control. And this move is expected to have significant implications on U.S. trade policies, particularly in regarding with China as the U.S. aimed to restrict the export of sensitive technologies to China, the change comes as Trump's America First trade policies continue to tighten restrictions on China tech companies and seek to protect U.S. intellectual property, especially in areas like semiconductor and artificial intelligence. And number five news is Putin supports Trump's defense cut proposal. So Russian President Vladimir Putin has publicly backed Donald Trump's proposal for all three countries, Russia, U.S., and China, to cut their defense budget by 50%. And this would be a significant reduction in military spending, something Putin sees as a path toward reducing tensions and promoting global peace. And the offer also includes joint cooperation on various global security issues. So it seems to be a diplomatic attempt to ease military spending and work more on collaboration defense effort. Although this is unclear whether the U.S. will embrace with this kind of proposal. And number six news is China's friendly offer to Germany. So following the election of the Friedrich Merz in Germany, China has eagerly extended an offer to continue fostering a stable, constructive relationship with Germany. With Germany's influence in the European Union and its strong trade relationship with China, Beijing sees this as an opportunity to further solidify bilateral ties, and China is looking to position itself as a stabilizing force in EU-China relations, especially amid the uncertainties stemming from shifting transatlantic dynamics. China's diplomatic outreach aims to keep Germany within its economic orbit while promoting mutual growth. And number seven news is Xi and Putin strengthen the long-term ties. Xi Jinping and Vladimir Putin 
have reiterated their long-term strategic partnership, emphasizing the growing ties between China and Russia. In a phone call, the two leaders vowed to further strengthen cooperation, especially in light of the increasing tension between the Russia and the U.S. The call, which marked the third anniversary of Russia's military action in Ukraine, highlights the shifting geopolitical landscape where China and Russia seems to be aligning more closely to counterbalance the U.S. influence globally. Their mutual support for each other, especially in the context of economic sanction, could have significant implications for the future global politics. And number eight news is China calls for faster Gaza reconstruction. In, in talks with Egyptian officials, China has called for an acceleration in the reconstruction and governance plans for post-war Gaza. Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi emphasized the importance of rebuilding this region, calling for faster progress in both reconstruction and governance efforts. China's involvement in Gaza could help it extend its influence in the Middle East, while reaffirming the support for Palestine governance. And this follows Beijing's broader effort for establish itself as a mediator in the Middle Eastern conflict, offering diplomatic support to both sides of the Gaza conflict. And number nine news is China response to Trump's investment curbs. After Donald Trump signs an America first executive order that blocks Chinese investment in critical U.S. infrastructure and the tech sectors, China has stated that it will respond firmly and the order is seen as an attempt by Trump to curb Chinese growing influence in critical U.S. sector, especially in industries like semiconductor, AI, and telecommunication. China has branded the move as discriminatory and has indicated it is prepared to take countermeasure. And this is another escalation in the ongoing trade war between the two economic giants. And the last news is Chinese brands gain popularity in Malaysia. Chinese brands, particularly those offering low price products, are gaining significant popularity in Malaysia's shopping mall. And these brands cater to the growing middle class and millions of ethnic Chinese residents in Malaysia. Companies like Mishu, known for its bubble tea and ice cream, are becoming a common sight in the malls, offering products that are cheaper than local competitors. And this trend reflects the increasing influence of Chinese consumer products in Southeast Asia, with many Malaysian preferring affordable options while still maintaining the quality. Thank you. That's the news for today.